Well, good morning everybody out there in YouTube's pipe smoking community. Merry Christmas. It's a gorgeous morning here in Alberta's oil patch. The sun is shining. It's uh, minus 7 degrees Celsius. <clears throat> Pretty brisk out there this morning smoking the pipe. <clears throat> Had my big Ben out with some... Burlington CEO. I'm sorry, you're going to have to excuse my radio. As the paramedic here in the oil patch, you have to have radio. So I have two radios that I monitor 15 channels on. And <clears throat> when somebody gets messed up, they give a holler on the radio and I come a blazing in. Save the day. <clears throat> Anyway, back on subject. So, in my previous video I mentioned that I'd got three pipes and a bunch of tobacco at my tobacconist, and this is the tub that is full of about $500 worth of pipe smoking glory. So, my Big Ben, I just smoked it so it's just cooling off, but, uh, no, it's pretty cool already, it's only been five minutes, but, uh... <clears throat> love this pipe, absolutely love this pipe. It looks small in my hand because I have such big hands, but <clears throat> it's uh, it's pretty big. <clears throat> love the uh, wide mouth bit on it. <clears throat> then, in this case, is the Astley's panel billiard that I picked up as an estate pipe and it's really nice prime condition gorgeous pipe now, there's a little bit of what I call pipe patina on the rim here from lighting it but it's not bad it's uh, you know very mild it was kept in really great condition they had about 15 Astley's that they got from a uh, collector and pipe aficionado and the A, the Astley A tool mark on the uh, stem shank is uh, the white, it's supposed to be white, the white's worn off but the tool mark is in great condition and it had no tooth marks on it. There's a little scuff but not an actual <clears throat> Sorry I thought somebody was trying to get a hold of me on the radio. You hear the word medic and you kind of start panicking. But the other pipe I got was another billiard. I'm a billiard man. Oh, hang on, I got a radio call. Yeah, go for Dylan. Okay, so I'm going to write these down. That's Don and who again, and where are they? Marvin and Dale, and they're straight north of camp up the Waddell Road at kilometer 50. There's a sump site there. All right, thanks a lot. <clears throat> so now I have to keep track of who checks in and where they are. And we have a... Don, Marvin, the Martian, and Dale. And they are kilometer 15 sump, Waddell Road. <clears throat> and they checked in at 9.59. Now, where were we? Third pipe. Billiard man. Gorgeous. Eric Nording billiard. The Big Ben and the Nording were on their under a hundred dollar rack and they were eighty bucks a piece. And the Astley estate pipe was ninety-five bucks. And this one has a I would call a root beer float colored uh, pattern 
Lucite uh, band on it, and then on this side it's got the N for Nording. Now the pipe tobacco that I picked up, I got the Plum Cake Navy Blend from McBaron. Thankfully I haven't ended up with the uh, ever so prevalent uh, and sneaky Mac Bite that people tend to talk about. This is the Burlington CEO Blend that I picked up and it's that Cavendish I smoked the other day and I got two ounces of director's cut and that's the milder version of the <clears throat> CEO there's the director's cut the executive and the CEO and there's just varying amounts of stronger Cavendish in each but it has a nice vanilla ring to it and this is Solitude, which is a straight dark Cavendish, and it smells absolutely fabulous. And this is East India Co. This is probably one of my more favorite Cavendish uh, aromatic blends, and it's uh, fruit and coconut, so kind of uh, something you'd expect a pirate to smoke, maybe, or a shipsman or seaman of the uh, East India Trading Co. Infamous. And this is Burlington's Santa's Smoke 2011, and I they had a sample tin of it by their scales and where they blend up their tobacco out of the jars, and I absolutely was like, just wanted to buy the entire whatever hundred ounces that they had, but um, smells so good. Now in Canada, Dunhill... Uh, doesn't exist anymore and they're probably going to bring it back just like they did in the states but i guess what happened is dunhill wanted to get away from the tobacco image that they'd created over the last few decades um or i don't know, rather century i suppose <clears throat> so they sold the blending rights to brigham of canada or mr b's which is brigham and just like dunhill has a early morning pipe this is mr b's rise and shine a uh, nice mild English blend <clears throat> and just like Dunhill has the Royal Yacht Mr. V's or Brigham has the Yacht Club or clubs in Voile or uh, I'm not sure my French is probably pretty bad but that means uh, Club of Yachts or Voile is like the sail and Voile is like the yacht the whole ship so Club of Yachts in en Francais and then they gave me my pipe tool with my little spade shovel and my tamper and a reamer. And then on here I have liquor store swag, which is a Rosemont flashlight. <clears throat> so at night when I'm smoking my pipe on my evening walk, I can check if there's no moon. I can check and see and make sure I got all the shag out of my pipe bowl and watch out for cougars and the like. All those lights are pretty pathetic, but I am a fan of Rosemont wine. Throw a little wine review in the, with us. If you can get your hands on some Rosemont, uh, Rosemont Estate wine, amazing. Truly, truly amazing wine. It's really good, and it's about, I don't know, 20 bucks a bottle, 25 maybe 28 depending on where you buy it and when. But awesome wine. <clears throat> Everybody will like it at the dinner table, I guarantee it. And I bought a Zippo, and they threw in a whole bunch of matches and pipe, re pipe cleaners, tapered, of course. But that is my tobacco haul for today, ladies and gentlemen. So, tobacco reviews to come, and uh, Merry Christmas.